uh, okay, over a year ago, I purchased the Emerald Pressure Air Fryer, the A quart. Uh, you can uh, use as a stove top or uh, slow cooking uh, pressure cooker and air fryer. And it's got several preset numbers in here, I think up to 24 preset items for pressure cooking. And two days ago, I went online on Amazon and purchased a six quart, a smaller one. And the reason I'm getting a six quart for a second one is when I got company over and I want to cook two different meals or one meal where something's being cooked in the eight quart then I would use a six quart to make the rice and stuff, which would, whatever is in the eight quart, we put it on a bed of rice. Now, usually I use brown rice, but for me, it never comes out right on the uh, stove top. And with the pressure cooker, it always comes out good. Now I'm gonna do the unboxing. I just got it a little while ago. UPS was here. It wasn't supposed to come until next week, around the 16th, 17th. But to my surprise, it came to day. It cost me like over $160 plus uh, the discount, which came to like $111. instruction booklet I since I already have the eight quart I already know about the instructions but in case there's any of you who was getting this for the first time I recommend glancing over it and getting an idea on how to use it and make sure you clean the inserts and anything that's going to come into contact with the food because you, know, you don't know who handles it and how clean it is. So before using any kind of food in the, uh, anything, pots, pans, pressure cookers, always make sure you thoroughly clean it. That way uh, you don't get sick from whatever is on the pool that's not supposed to be there. Now, this is a glass lid. For when you want to, don't want to use the pressure cooker or the air fryer. Now, my A-Quart also has the air fryer lid. And that's going to be too big for my knees when I'm by myself. But it does come in handy when I got company. Which is usually every week, 10 days. Now, these here... Connect on to the pressure cooker base, and it says air fryer on it, which I'll show you in a moment. Of course, it's identical to the eight quart that I have. The only difference is it's two quarts smaller. That's the only difference between the two. They're both emerald pressure air fryer. Uh, 
Now here is the base unit. Okay. Now. Just make some adjustments here on the tripod. Now I got, I got the extra accessories that go along with it, like uh, baking and stuff. And this here is what I was referring to. The six buttons here. Six here, which is 12, and then over here, when it's powered on, uh, whichever one of these you choose, you push, you turn the knob. Like, say, you want to press the air fryer, be the uh, pressure cooker, and then you put the appropriate lid on here. And then, uh, after doing so, you turn the knob to what you want, like fish, beef upholstery, whatever it is, brown rice, white rice, uh, okay, now, when using it, uh, you want to make sure you take this off, you want to take this off, that way, you don't have to worry about it. And oh yes, when we, over here is where you turn it on. You place it here, you switch, you move this towards that, right? To close it. And then uh, it's got a, a lock mechanism over here on top of the way you release the pressure. And you don't want your hands anywhere near here. Plus, it's going to be extremely hot when you, and you don't want to get burned. When you push it towards the lid, it will automatically go this way when you close it. But when it's done, you push it this way. You wait until it's no longer under pressure, which may take two or three minutes, depending on what setting you had it on. After doing so, you slide it to the left clockwise and then open it up now this here comes apart for well, this way you can clean this here on the, this side and this side and clean the inside here make sure everything's clean for when you want to use it, make sure you take the rubber off and clean that too. And then put it back on. Taking it off and putting it back on a little tight at first couple of times. But with the rubber pieces in place, it should be easier. Here it comes in with the baskets. That way, yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
this here, you put whatever types of meat and whatnot you want on it. And this one here, you put it in like this. This way. This sits at the bottom. And you put whatever meat on here. Make sure when you do it, it happened to me a couple of times where I forgot to put water in there. And when it was done, I opened it up on the gate court. I realized it wasn't done properly because there wasn't any water in there. So I had to start all over again. It happened to me twice when I first started using it. But after that, I no longer forgot. Okay. Uh, here's the plug for it. Uh, it has the measuring cup and the spatula. It uses the same type of plug that a computer, you desktop computer uses. And this is the insert for it. Now, like I said, make sure you clean it and After you take everything off, make sure you clean everything. Okay. Which I will do later. I just want to do the unboxing before I start in on anything else. Uh, thank you for watching my video. And if you like it, Please give me a thumbs up. This. Oh yeah. You can also air fry stuff in here. Use the air fryer lid. You can air fry some uh, French fries and other stuff in here. Well, with French fries, what you do is like you coat it with the oil that you normally uh, would use. But this case, you use a little bit better oil. Whatever you use, then uh, you take it from there, put it in there, and use the air fryer lid. Thank you for watching. All right, have a nice day.